students, and welcome to today's live IELTS class. My name is Adrian, and I'm streaming to you from beautiful Budapest. I hope everybody is having a great day so far, staying healthy and strong. Students, in this class, we are looking at IELTS Task 2 writing. We're going to discuss correct essay content. So what do you put into your essay based on the Task 2 question? Hi, Sammy. Hi, Jainil. Good to see our members in the class. Hi, Real Diamond. Hi, Tahir Malik Kano. Nice to see many students coming in. This lesson is presented to you by aehelp.com for academic IELTS success. Visit us there. And for general IELTS success, visit us at gieltshelp.com. That's gieltshelp.com. On both of our websites, we have lots and lots of materials for you. We have loads and loads of um, task two essay samples as well, students. So this is our academic website here with the blue background. And um, when you log in, uh, go to the blogs and you will see um, a whole bunch of uh, band nine task two samples, okay? Uh, same idea for the general IELTS, it's the green background. Click that big red button to join the premium package. Again, you can find lots of help for the writing, including professional writing and proofreading uh, services as well, okay? So, um, if you have questions, just send me an email to adrian at aehelp.com. I will gladly answer your inquiries. And um, of course, we have more classes coming for you tomorrow and on Saturday at the same time. Uh, let's get into today's IELTS Task 2 question. Here it is. Uh, first step, always don't rush this step. This step, you really have to uh, take it easy, take your time, and make sure that you know what you are asked by the question. So let's read this question. IELTS writing task two, you should spend about 40 minutes on this task. Okay. And uh, here we go. Some people prefer to travel around town by car while others prefer public transit such as bus, train, or uh, subway. Okay. Uh, discuss both these positions and give your opinion. Write at least 250 words. Okay. Um, so this question, it's not asking which is better, which is worse. Why? It's just saying that some people prefer to travel around town. So to make sure that you understand the question clearly, you should paraphrase it, okay? Uh, don't assume information. Make sure that you pay attention to the information in the question. So go ahead, students, paraphrase this. Now, when you paraphrase your task two question, you want to make sure that it's as close to the original as possible in meaning, okay? So I'll show you what I mean while you do this. All right, so there's mine. Um, so what I'm doing here while I'm paraphrasing is I make sure that the meaning is not lost or changed. In good paraphrasing, you should not be adding or subtracting information from the original. You should retain the same information, okay? so. Peya Basak says many individuals like to travel around the city by car. However, others prefer public transport to commute. 
Uh, Beck John says certain individuals would rather go around the city by car, whereas others choose to use public transportation, such as bus, train, and subway. Explain both views and state your opinion. Very good, Beck John. Very good, Paya. Uh, Samuel says while certain individuals prefer to travel by their personal uh, transport, personal vehicle, a little bit better, Samuel. Others uh, favor public transport to do so. Okay, so good, different ways and staying close, okay? Um, notice how the question doesn't say um, what are the advantages and disadvantages and so on, okay? So you have to be careful here uh, to uh, pay attention to the question. Uh, driving around the city by car or by public, public transport, you could write books, about this comparison, not just a 250 word essay, but literally books. So you have to really identify a couple of good main points and make those clear. Okay, so in order to do that, you definitely want to figure out, first of all, the topic. So what is the topic here? Um, what are we talking about? So what's, what's the topic? What are we discussing here? Okay, so if somebody says, hey, what are you talking about here? What are you going to write about here? Um, what's the topic? Okay. Okay, so Sammy says it's about transport. Okay, Kuldeep says it's transport. Um, yeah, kind of. What are we, t are we just talking about transport here? So are we just talking about trains, planes, and automobiles? No. Paya says two types of transport that people prefer. Okay, that's closer, Paya. Prashant says mode of transport. Um, yeah, Turk, very good. So Turk says it's actually, to be more accurate, uh, preference, transportation preferences. Transportation preferences. That's what we're talking about, right? So if you look at this question, or my paraphrase, certain individuals like and opt to commute around the city by personal vehicle, while others choose mass transit, such as bus, train, metro. Um, what are we talking about? People's transportation preferences, okay? All right. So what are the controlling ideas? Okay, so the topic here, what we're talking about is transportation preferences. So people's choice of transportation. That's what we're talking about here. Okay, um, what's the controlling idea? Okay. So Vibe Hub says certain individuals love to use uh, personal transportations while others love to use public transport. Um, don't just repeat the question, make it more concise. Okay. Uh, Abdi Jibar, Abdi Samed, I love your answer for the controlling idea. So public and private uh, transport preferences. All right, those are the controlling ideas. Okay, so simplify, always simplify. All right, learn to do this quickly. The more effectively you learn to do this, the better your ideas, the better your English, the better your communication, and hey, guess what? the better your band score, right? Okay, so a uh, topic is transportation preferences, controlling ideas is private and public transportation or transport preferences, right? Because it could be more potentially like shared carpooling. Okay, it's not in here. We're not talking about carpooling, right? Um, okay, good. So now we have to do some critical thinking. At home, 
on paper um, in the exam, mostly in your head. You don't have time to do it on paper. So critical thinking simply means ask uh, what, why, and how about the topic and uh, controlling ideas. Okay, <clears throat> so what is a public transportation, or sorry, uh, what is a uh, transportation uh, preference? Okay, so what is that? What does it mean to prefer a certain type of transportation? Okay, what does that mean? Okay, and it might seem simple, this question, but thinking about the answer will give you good sentences uh, for your essay, okay? So, what does it mean? Okay. Amanjad says, transportation preference means which is comfortable. Mm, okay, um, not necessarily. Maybe some people will choose a less comfortable but a faster uh, mode because they prefer to move faster. So I don't know if comfortable, Amanjat, would be synonymous with a preference. Okay, uh, Devyani Allen, our member, says the ease and convenience of traveling. Yeah, could be, but again, speed might overtake that. Um, what does it mean if I prefer this instead of this? Yeah, back John, very good. So um, choosing the most suitable method of transportation. So um, the primary uh, choice of transportation that a person favors to use more than another. Okay, so that would be it. Learning good definitions, learning clear definitions, students, is very important for effective communication and good essays. So transportation preference means the primary choice. So my choice of transportation, and because it's my choice, I will likely try to use that mode of transportation more than any other form. Now comes the why question. Why? Do we have a preference? Okay, so why this preference? Why should we choose? And some of you answered this question instead of the what question. So uh, a very neat skill in academics and in good communication is being able to discern. It means separate questions and answers accurately, knowing truly what is the what question versus the why, the how, the when, and so forth. So why do we have these preferences? Uh, because they suit certain individual needs like finance, comfort, speed, and convenience. Okay, so that's why we have this kind of preference in transport because it suits our individual needs. Some people prefer a certain type of transport because it's cheaper, not necessarily because it's more comfortable. Others might prefer it because it's faster, not necessarily because it's cheaper, right? So preferences vary individual to individual, all right? Uh, how are these preferences different? Well, different needs. Transport one person to work or transport an entire family to work, school, and ballet class. Okay? 
that I'm just coming up with. Here I'm generating my ideas. Again, I'm writing this out for you, but in the real exam, I would just be spinning these thoughts in my mind, okay? So is everybody clear so far on the importance of uh, thinking about the right questions, thinking about the right answers in relation to the task two question to come up with a good essay, okay? Is that clear so far? It's not ballot class, it's ballet class. It's ballet, ballet. Am I spelling right on that? I think so. Yeah, ballet class, all right. Okay, so everybody's clear on that. Okay, <laughs> ballet class, let's, okay, I'm gonna make that simple, doesn't confuse people. Dance class, there you go, dance class, all right. <laughs> it's not so important, okay. <laughs> Making me second guess myself. All right, um, so that's our questions for the topic, meaning people's preferences. Now, um, what you want to do after is go through uh, the second set, right? The controlling idea. So public and private uh, transportation. Okay, so here the what is really important and simple, okay? Using a personal vehicle or mass transit, okay? So that's fine. Now, the more important uh, question here is the why. So why would some people uh, prefer their own vehicle? So what are the answers to this? This is where you want to now come up with some good answers, okay? So why would some people prefer to use their own vehicle? What's the reason for that? What's the logic uh, behind that? Can anybody tell me that? Okay. All right, Samuel says privacy and flexibility. So it's private and flexible. Okay. Um, and it's comfortable. Right, that's what I would say, okay? Comfortable. So private, comfort, and flexible. Okay, how? So how is it private? Operator is in their own space. Um, nice, uh, comfortable seats with air conditioning. Okay, obviously you don't have to write these out uh, during the exam, but you do have to think about it, okay? And can get you exactly from point A to B without transfer. Okay, so that would be the how. All right, so the next important question is why would some people uh, prefer uh, public transit? Okay, uh, now we're thinking about a city, so don't forget about that. So why would some people prefer public uh, transit instead of using their own car? Okay. Aman Jot, reaching your destination faster is not always true with a car in the city. Sometimes public transport is much faster, okay? So because it can be a lot cheaper, okay, sure. So cheaper is one. Yeah, um, faster in traffic. Yeah. Uh, at uh, rush hour, mass transit is arguably much faster, okay? Um, now, some of you are saying pollutes less, but that's an indirect 
reason to use public transport. So I would not necessarily include that. Okay. Um, no parking issue. Okay. Okay, so it's possibly more convenient if you don't have to worry about parking. Okay, or fuel costs. All right. Now, um, in this case, I might stay away from concepts of pollution. Safety is a very good one. Yeah, possibly more convenient and safer. Okay, it's arguably safer. The chances of being in a car accident and being injured is much higher in most places than being injured in public transit. Okay, um, less stressful. Okay, it's a very good one as well. All right, good. Um, so which one do you choose? Now you have to think about your own needs. Do you have a family? Do you go back and forth to the same place? Do you have money for your own car or do you need to use public transit? Maybe use an electric car. So what is your own position? Okay. Okay, I'm gonna go with a simple one here. So student, faster and convenient. Faster, cheaper and convenient. Okay, so I'm gonna say I'm a student in this case. Uh, I use public transport to go to university and back. And in this way, it's a lot more uh, logical, rational for me to use public transit. Okay, so I'm going to do it this way in this case. All right, so now what I can do is I can come up with my thesis statement. The th thesis, use uh, your planning to come up with a direct thesis statement that indicates your points for argument. Okay. This is the last sentence of your introductory uh, paragraph. Okay. Um, note, students, please do not write in IELTS. Uh, this essay will discuss the preferences of uh, commuting by personal and uh, public uh, vehicles in the following uh, paragraphs. Okay, um, why? Why is it not good to write this kind of thesis that I just showed you? Why do I want you always to write a direct thesis? So why is this kind of thesis not a good way to get a high band score? So look at this one. This is a big no, students, okay? So this essay will discuss the preferences of commuting by personal and public vehicles in the following paragraphs. Why is that a terrible essay? In fact, if you write that in university or college, your professor will probably talk to you privately and say, hey, you need to go revisit how to write a university level thesis. This is um, junior high school. Okay. Um, so Bekjan says an indirect thesis doesn't really get the reader thinking. That's true, Bekjan. Lydia says it does not g uh, give direction to the reader. Yeah. Um, Diva says it's like a middle school level or a, it, yeah, intermediate school level. It's not even, I would say it's probably not even high school. Uh, Mustafa says, yeah, it doesn't show the markers that we're using our own thinking to understand the topic. That's right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Sammy says it's way too general. Okay. Um, and uh, not to sound rude here, but... Uh, uh, if I'm the examiner and I read this kind of thesis, my thinking is, uh, duh, of course you will. 
that's what the question is asking you to do. Why are you wasting precious time to tell me what I already know? Okay, so that's um, a big reason here. Okay, so that's a big reason here. All right, is because you're wasting precious time. Of course, you're going to write in the essay these preferences. I mean, if you're writing on topic, that's what you're doing, right? Um, why would you waste uh, a full sentence to express something? And if I'm reading this every second from every second student that's done the IELTS for this question, why would I give them marks for writing the same sentence over and over again? That way, everybody would get the same score. There's no point in doing that, okay? So what's called a direct thesis is much, much better, okay? So write a direct thesis for me, um, students. Give me an example of a good direct thesis using your thinking, okay? Okay. All right. Uh, Diksha says, certain individuals prefer to travel by their vehicles because it's cheaper and comfortable, although some people prefer public transport because it saves money of residents. Mm, Diksha, that's confusing. So personal vehicles are cheaper and public transport saves money? How is that possible? How can both be cheaper? Okay. Uh, make sure not to have conflicting information. Uh, that's confusing. Yeah, Shivani, don't write. This essay will examine both sides. It's so sad that uh, teachers are saying this, and there are thousands of IELTS teachers around the world that are telling their students to write, this essay will examine both sides. It's useless, completely useless sentence. Okay, of course that's what your essay will discuss. That's what the question's asking you to do. So what are the two sides? Answer that question, absolutely. Okay. So Devyani says, this essay will discuss both sides of the argument and why, in my opinion, personal transportation. So Devyani, don't do that, okay? That's not a good thesis statement, okay? Notice Samuel's thesis statement, uh, Devyani, right underneath. Although many people prefer traveling by their personal vehicle for daily commute as it's flexible and comfortable, I believe that utilizing public transport is not only safer, but faster in most situations. So Devyani, if you read your um, thesis and compare it to Samuel's, which is right under, it's literally comparing um, a native speaker's grade seven or grade eight um, thesis to a college or university level uh, English thesis. Okay, that's the difference. One's a band six, seven, the other's a band eight, nine. That's the big difference, okay? So that's a very direct comparison there if you look at those two, all right? Uh, Janiel says, although some individuals choose to travel around the city by mass transit, such as bus, train, subway, because those types of transportations provide safety and um, affordability, others believe that, uh, per others, including myself, believe that cars are faster and more comfortable. Okay, Jainil, so you can go about it that way. Excellent. Okay. Uh, and students, the proof is in the pudding. Um, we often have students come to us who learn these very generic types of essay structures, like this essay will explain both sides. They get a band 6.57. They learn this way, and then they sit the IELTS exam one month later, and they get a band 8.5. We have numerous testimonials of that. Okay, so that's what I would write for my thesis. So here's a direct thesis. Now remember, I said I'm a student in this case. So although certain people prefer to use private 
vehicles um, to commute for greater comfort and flexibility many others including myself opt to use mass transit as it is not only cheaper but also more convenient okay so I'm gonna go with convenient because I'm a student I can study uh, while I'm on mass transit I don't have to sit in traffic okay so I chose convenient I'm not going to write safer I have to limit myself it's only a 250 to 300 word essay so if I give too many points then I won't be able to go into enough detail all right uh, in the essay so you have to be really careful about that okay so only choose a few key points or a few main points to discuss um, otherwise you will not be able to go into detail in the 250 to 300 uh, words in the 40 minutes okay so um, the higher band essays are the essays that go into detail that explain a lot of detail on one point clearly okay so explanation okay uh, mass transit Devyani is not given in the question it's public transportation okay uh, Devyani, the original question is uh, public transit. Okay, so I'm paraphrasing that as mass transit. All right, it's a synonym. Okay, uh, so we're doing well so far, and I've seen a few nice essays come up. Okay, now um, the introductory paragraph, it needs three elements. Okay. Um, so three elements, they are one, hook, two, background, and three, thesis, okay? That's what makes a good introduction, all right? So simply paraphrasing the question and then saying this essay will discuss both, um, you've basically have to write a perfect essay with no grammatical or spelling mistakes to even get a hope of a band seven okay uh, and you shouldn't do that okay especially because then in university or college or even in professional life it won't be useful for you all right so learn to write correct essays not write template essays for IELTS okay I think that's probably one of the smartest things I've summarized so far so I'm gonna write that up here learn to write correct uh, persuasive essays and not template essays for IELTS. I think I can make that into a t-shirt. Okay, so um, yeah, learn to write correct persuasive essays and not template essays for IELTS. Correct persuasive essays, it's not impossible to learn. It's quite straightforward once you get it and uh, they will be useful to get you higher band scores on the IELTS and get good grades in university and get good responses in your workplace okay so uh, I see some people are already writing up their hook statements the hook uh, just like a fishing hook it's intended to catch your reader introduce the topic okay all right so Sammy says hook background thesis that's an introduction indeed it is um, let's see summit says private transport is time-consuming and can prevent people from traffic jams mm, summit that's one side of the picture and it's an argument um, for the hook just use the topic okay use the topic 
um, transportation preferences. Okay, that's the topic. Uh, use that in the hook somehow. Okay. Yeah, so Samuel says transportation plays an important part of our lives. Yeah. Um, even uh, avoiding our Samuel. So transportation plays an important part uh, in daily life. Okay. Uh, let's see some more here. Kavid Nagyev says the growing population of cities around the world pushes their residents to choose between public and private transportation. Um, Kavid, yeah, yeah, that's okay. That'll work. It's a little bit on the complex side, but uh, you're definitely on the right track. You have the transportation preferences alluded to in there indirectly, so it's good. Okay. Paya says individual preferences towards transportation is different um, throughout the country. Yeah, Paya, that works. Sure. Abhishek says transportation is an integral part of livelihood on a daily basis. All right. Good. Shirojidin says recent days people have been addicted to transportation. I don't know about that, Shirojidin. It's an interesting concept. Um, it's an okay hook, I think. Beckjohn says, everyone has their own favorite type of transport. I love it. Simple, elegant, beautiful, to the point, and it's a band nine start. Yeah, that's all it is. You don't have to have super complicated words and thinking to get a band nine or to write an amazing essay. Some of the most beautiful writing in the world is simple. Now, simple is not the same as easy. Okay. Sometimes it's very tricky uh, and difficult to be simple. Every person has their own favorite type of transport. Ooh, what are you talking about? Yeah, I know I got one. I have my favorite type of transport. I love trains. They're so fast. They go through some amazing countryside. They're spacious. You can, they serve food. They have a bathroom. They're fantastic. So I have a favorite. What are you going to say? What are you, what are you going to say after this? What do you got for me? Okay. It's got me interested. It's got me hooked. All right. Like a big fish. I'm a reader, like a giant fish. And I'm on that hook back, John. I want to read more of your essay. Every person has their own favorite type of transport. Yes, indeed, I agree. When you state an agreeable fact using the topic, that's usually a very good hook. Okay, so now comes the background. The background is the importance of the topic, controlling idea, and... Of course, definition. So what are you talking about here? Now, definitions and the importance of the topic or the controlling idea, that's basically coming from your planning. Again, keep it simple. In the IELTS, you really do not have to go overboard to get a good band score. Okay. All right. Everybody on page with me so far. So is this all clear? Is this making sense? So give me a definition. What are we talking about? Of course, the definition has to be in context. And then the importance of the question. The importance of the question. Okay. Abdi Jabbar says, sure, I got you. All right. So let's write the background. Let's define what we're talking about. So whether it is trains buses, the metro, or private vehicles. Each and every person has a primary means of commuting around the city for their daily needs. All right, that's my definition, okay? So whether it is trains, buses, the metro, or private vehicles, each and every person has a primary means of commuting 
around the city for their daily needs, whether it's shopping, school, or work. Okay, I can go into more, but it's not necessary. This is enough, all right? Paya says, people choose their transportation to reach the workplace, schools of other destinations, timely and conveniently. That works, Paya, okay? Rajat says, transportation is the basic necessity in everyone's life, be it public or private vehicles, to move from one place to another on a daily basis. Rajat, that's a beautiful definition, okay? Very nice definition, Rajat. Uh, Sammy says, from ancient days, the mode of transportation has varied from generation to generation. People prefer their mode of transport as per their comfort and status needs. Uh, Sammy, I think it's a bit general. It sounds like you're going to write an essay about the evolution of transportation in the world, so the history of transportation, rather than um, uh, the preference in public versus private. Okay, so always stick close to the topic and the controlling idea, all right? Hassan says, transportation, whether it's private or public, is a key role in and around the city and the globe as it helps people to reach their destination on a daily basis. Good, Hassan. Weather, not uh, weather like rain or sunshine, but weather, uh, W-H-E, okay, W-H-E at the beginning. Careful with that one. All right, KBJBF, KBJV. With the increasing population over the last decade, transportation has become essential to the point that it has its own economy. Um, I think, again, that's a little bit general. Okay, it's a little bit general, all right? Okay, um, so now I'm going to write about the importance of it, right? So... Um, individual choice of transportation has a significant impact on a person's life as well as the functioning of society, right? How many roads we build, how many uh, public transportation methods we build, all of that um, is interconnected with our preferences in travel, right? And now comes the thesis. Okay, so um, the thesis, I'm just going to grab the thesis that I've already written and stick it in and it makes sense. Now, it seems like it took me a long time to get to this introduction and this uh, clear point. But again, with practice, this happens very quickly. So it's absolutely okay to spend the first 10 to 15 minutes of your 40 minutes on having a good introduction. The reason why is because body one, body two, and the conclusion will flow much smoother and faster with a good introduction, okay? So, uh, here you go. Have a look at this introduction, okay? Every person has their own favorite type of transport, whether it is trains, buses, the metro, or private vehicles. Each and every person has a primary means of commuting around the city for their daily needs. Individual choice of transportation has a significant impact on a person's life as well as the functioning of society. Although certain people prefer to use private vehicles to commute for greater comfort and flexibility, many others, including myself, opt to use mass transit as it's not only cheaper, it is not only cheaper, but also more convenient. Now I have clarity, I have direction, I know the exact structure of my essay, and I know the content. So all I have to do now is write it with body paragraph one, two, and three. And body one, well, sorry, body paragraph one, two, and conclusion. And we're going to do that tomorrow. I'm sure some of you are wondering um, the word count here. So let me uh, do an exact word count for you today. I'll take out all of the instructive uh, information here. 
Some of you are probably thinking, well, that's really long, but it's actually not that long. Okay, um, so this introduction is 89 words of roughly 300. Okay, band nine essays are closer to 300 words than 250. 250 is the absolute minimum. Okay, it's the absolute minimum. All right, so I still have about 210 words to write for the rest of my band nine essay. Okay, so 80 to 90 words for a good introduction is absolutely okay. All right. All right, Lydia says, sir, I've got a question. Is it a correct way to say both these types of transport have their own benefits and drawbacks at the end of the thesis? Um, no, um, I wouldn't discuss drawbacks here, Lydia. Okay. Um, again, Lydia, it's a good question. Uh, pay attention to the qu original question, right? It's really important, students, that you pay close attention. Uh, it says, some people prefer to travel around the town by car while others prefer public transit, such as bus, train, or subway. Discuss both these positions and give your opinion. This question, nowhere, Lydia, does it ask for the disadvantages, like pollution, for example, for cars. It would not be a good idea to start talking about pollution here because it doesn't ask for disadvantages. It just says, why do people prefer one? Why do people prefer the other? It's easy to write a 300 word essay just on the preferences, not on the advantages, disadvantages. So preferences is not the same word as advantages and disadvantages. Okay. Uh, Roshan, this is not really an open-ended question because it doesn't ask a what question. It does kind of pigeonhole you. So it asks you to explain preferences for personal vehicles and preferences for public transport. So it's not really an open question. It's not like saying, what are the reasons people use cars? Okay, it's not exactly the same. All right. There you could have a lot of other answers. Uh, Piyush is asking, what if we only include the paraphrasing and the thesis statement? So that's what I was on about earlier, Piyush. If you only paraphrase the question and you have a very generic thesis, like this essay will discuss both preferences, even if you write with perfect English, you will likely get a maximum score of seven. And that's with perfect English, grammar, vocabulary, spelling. Okay. It's actually much easier to have this kind of an essay, make some grammar or spelling mistakes, and you'll still get seven because you have much better content, okay? Content is king, just like on the internet <laughs> and with social media. In an essay, it's also true. Content is king. Remember that. That's kind of, that'll be my, um, that'll be my closing remarks for today, students, just like in social media, YouTube, IELTS, and university essays. Content is king, okay? So what you write is more important than how you write it, okay? All right, everyone. Um, so that is the lesson for today. I will be back tomorrow to finish this essay with you uh, for the body paragraphs and the conclusion. Make sure to practice this. It seems easy, but of course it takes practice, okay? So make sure to practice and uh, you can learn a lot more about essay writing, persuasive essay, premium package at aehelp.com for academic IELTS and gileshelp.com for general IELTS. You're all very, very welcome. Much love to all of you. I'm Adrian signing out from Budapest. Bye for today.